Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'm going to show you how you can color your own fabric. So I'm going to show you two different ways to do that. Stay tuned. I love coloring my own fabric and my own clothes because this is one of the simplest ways to upcycle anything that you already have and would like to keep. So I'm going to show you how you can do this today. So as I said, I'm going to show you two different ways how you can color your own fabric. Here I have a t-shirt, but you can use pretty much anything you have. And for that, I have some materials. So here in this little box, you can see some fabric dye that we're going to use. This can be found in any supermarket or even online. So I'm going to show you which fabric you can dye, how you can dye it in the washing machine, and how you can dye it in a bowl. So stay tuned to see how you can do both. So you can dye any natural fabric, which means cotton or linen or anything like that. You can try other types of fabric, but it might not work as well or they might not absorb as much of the color as you'd like. So depending on the type of fabric, you might find specific dyes that are made exactly for that type of fabric. So synthetics are pretty difficult to dye as well as mixed fabric where you have a little bit of many different types of fabric. So if you're new to this, I would recommend sticking with cotton or something like that and then you can try out the more complicated and sensitive stuff. Another thing that you shouldn't forget is that the base color of the fabric will definitely have an impact on the end color. So if you have something that's white, like you can see here in my little example that I wanted to bring to you today, um, you can see how lovely the pink is. And then in the other case, I have a different example here. So when I had this yellowish base shade, then I had a little bit of a different shade in the end. So it was a lot darker than the original one. So your fabric should be light so that you can have the effect of the new color. If it's too um, dark, the dye won't be as visible. So of course, there are ways to do um, darker fabric to turn it into lighter shades, but it is pretty complicated to do at home and it doesn't always work perfectly. So of course you can bleach it, but it's pretty risky and it doesn't always turn out the way you want it to. So first I'm going to show you how you can dye your fabric in the washing machine. So of course this means that your fabric should be um, something that's appropriate for the washing machine. Some types of materials cannot be washed in the washing machine. So if you try that out, you might have some stains or just an uneven result. So whatever dye you buy, you can just read the instructions on the back and then if you follow those instructions, you're very easily going to get dyed fabric. So you have info on what types of fabric are um, working with this type of dye and how you should treat it as well, especially what happens with more sensitive fabric. So you have all of the info on the back and it's super easy to do and this is one of my favorite ways to dye my own clothes. Also, if you'd like a darker shade, you might want to use two boxes instead of just one. So two packages for the same amount of fabric. You always have the weight of the fabric on here as well so that you know what the color is going to be depending on the amount. So sometimes you get additional little bottles or um, powders that basically secure the color into the fabric and make it not wash away after a couple of um, times that you washed it, but you can also do this the same way if you just put a little bit of vinegar in the mix and then just wash it as you always would in the washing machine. In most cases, this is actually combined with the dye itself, so you don't have to worry about it. Mostly it'll be um, written on the back where the instructions are if you need to do any extra steps or not. So I'm also going to show you how you can do this in the bowl, so stay tuned to see how. So you're going to need a bucket or a bigger bowl or something like that and of course the fabric that you're going to use. So just make sure the bowl or bucket is big enough for the amount of fabric that you have. This is also perfect if you want to dye just a part of your clothes. 
So here we have our fabric dye that we're going to use. You see here it says lavender, that's the color. And again, we're going to follow the instructions on the back to make sure we get a great result. So of course we're going to need something to stir with. So here I have just an old little paintbrush that I'm going to use and that I don't mind if it gets dirty. Then I have here some rubber gloves that I'm going to use to protect my skin and not color my skin as well. And I'm going to show you I have here two pieces of fabric that I'm going to use as a test for today. So they are both out of cotton, which is what I wanted to start with and try it out on. In here we need one to two liters of warm water and then we're going to open this baggie up and we're just going to pour the dye inside. So I'm going to check on the color as I pour it in and I'm going to stir it just a little bit so that I can see better um, what the shade is going to be. Now I'm going to put on my gloves and I'm going to start with the dyeing process. So first I'm going to start with this little piece and I'm just going to soak it on the inside. So just move it around a little bit, make sure that everything is submerged. And then I'm going to just wiggle it around a little bit and just kind of knead it, knead it in there and then we'll see what the end result is. And this one we're actually gonna dye completely. The other one, the lighter piece of fabric, I'm gonna do just half of that. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take just one glove off since I want um, to keep the one side white. And then I'm just gonna stick it in here and make sure that it's not completely submerged because I do want just the one um, half dyed. So you see here on the side, I have the rest of it that I want to keep white. Of course, you can use a clothespin or something else to keep it in place and make sure it doesn't slip inside the dyed, um, the water with the dye. So now I'm just gonna leave it a little bit and um, we're gonna leave this for an hour. I'm also gonna make sure that I stir occasionally just to make sure that everything is submerged and I get a really nice um, color that is even throughout the entire piece of fabric. Also, this is the same as with the washing machine technique. Here we need to make sure if the color has um, the stuff that actually makes it secure on there so that the colors or the dye stays on it. And if not, we need an extra step with the vinegar to secure the dye onto the fabric. Okay, so now after an hour, I wanted to show you what I have. So here is the one half that I'm gonna leave on here. Of course, if you'd like a little bit more or a little bit darker color, a little bit more intense, in that case, you can leave it in for a little bit longer. But I wanted to show you what it looks like after an hour. So now the next step is to rinse it out with cold water. So if you're satisfied with the shade, then we can stick it into um, some cold water. And here I'm going to use the bowl for that as well. So now comes the washing step. I'm going to use the stuff that I actually use for my washing machine as well, um, just to be safe. And then we're going to wash it by hand until the color turns out completely clear when we wash it out. So of course, a little bit of the dye is going to come out, but it still should stay, um, the most of it should stay on the fabric. So here you can see how I'm dyeing my t-shirt that was white just in half. So I just want the bottom half to have a different color. And you can see here, I'm basically doing the exact same step and process that I did with the little test pieces of fabric. So you can keep it in here as long as you want. The longer you keep it in, in the darker the color is gonna be. So I'm again gonna repeat the same steps and I'm just gonna wash it out to show you what it looks like. So 
So here are all of the test projects that I did with the color, with the dye. So you see here the t-shirt and the background. You can see a lovely color gradient so it um, turns darker as you go downwards. And then here are the two little test pieces that we did together. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to shoot a thumbs up to let me know you did. And if you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe and click on the notification bell. See you next time. Bye!